You know, when I think of Nigel, I can't help feeling a little bit envious. I mean, he's handsome. Well, quite handsome. He's funny. Well, quite funny. He's generous. Actually, he's not very generous. He owes me a fiver. Mind you, you owe me a fiver. It's in the post. But he is dead good at magic. Yeah, he really is dead good at magic. And girls like that. Sometimes I prefer to be him than me. I wonder what it would be like to be Nigel. It's not too bad, really. <laughs> I like this. But I can't help feeling a bit envious of David. He may be hopeless at magic, but he's so pretty and very generous. He did lend me a fiver. Sometimes I prefer to be him than me. Ah, oh, that's better. So, now the process that we use to turn me into you is called morphine. And only a few years ago, there was no way that you could ever do that on your home computer. But now, if you go on the internet, you can actually find a lot of programs that let you do it for free. So I've got one of them here. And what I need first is my start picture. And I found a picture of me when I was a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, carry on. What we need now is another picture for this one to morph into. Now, the trick here is to find one as similar to your start picture as you can. So, I've downloaded some pictures of me into the machine. That one's not going to work, is no. it? Because I'm looking totally the wrong way. That one's not going to work because I'm... Profile. Profile. That one's not really going to no, work. No, it's a little bit cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But this one is probably about the best one that we've got. That's because if you look, similar. Yeah. I haven't really changed a bit. Anyway, we'll now go back to our program. This is the photo that I've picked. We put it in, and now here's where the program comes in. We take a point, the corner of his lip here, I bring it across to the other corner of my lip. And as you can see, it appears here. Right. Now what we need to do is match this up so that it's right at the corners uh, okay. of my lips now. And we repeat this process on the nose here. That looks a bit weird. It does look a bit weird. And we just try our best to make sure that they all match up. And now if I do the same with the eye, and just make sure these match up. Now, the thing is, is that we could spend all day matching up everything. We could match up all the eyebrows, we could match up the hairline, we could match up the ears, we could match up the neck, we could match up the whole thing and the effect would be a lot more dramatic, but this is still going to work quite well. Let's have a look. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. But it's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. That's morphing.